commonly, our cycle is composed of evaporator, compressor, condenser, and the expansion bulb or our capillary tube. Then, the flow of our refrigerant in the cycle is from evaporator going to compressor, then compressor going to condenser, and condenser going to capillary tube, then capillary tube going to evaporator. And that's the flow of our cycle. So, upon this cycle, pwede na natin siya determine into different sides. First is the low side and high side. So, discuss muna natin itong low side. Dito sa low side, ito yung side ng refrigeration cycle natin na kung saan yung flow ng refrigerant natin is under low pressure and low temperature condition. So, commonly, nag start siya dito sa at the exit ng ating capillary tube papuntang evaporator then evaporator bago pumasok ng compressor so that's uh, our low side so the other one is the high side so ito naman yung side ng ating cycle na kung saan yung refrigerant natin is flowing under high temperature and high pressure condition so as you can notice nag start siya dito sa at the discharge ng ating compressor puntang condenser, then bago pumasok ng capillary tube. That's the hour high side. Another one is the vapor side and the liquid side. So, sa vapor side muna tayo. So, ito naman yung side ng ating cycle na kung saan yung refrigerant natin is flowing under vapor condition or more on vapor phase condition. So, nag start siya dito sa exit ng ating evaporator, going to compressor, then uh, papuntang condenser. That's our, that's where vapor side occurs. So, the next one is the liquid side. So, ito naman yung side na kung saan refrigerant is flowing under liquid state condition or more on liquid state condition. So, it starts here at the exit ng ating condenser. Papasok siya ng capillary tube then bago pumasok ng evaporator. So, that's where our liquid side pours. Then, by that, uh, na-determine na natin yung condition ng refrigerant at different sides ng ating cycle. So, let's start now how it actually works. Upon working ng ating compressor, so, kukunin niya yung, or hihigupin niya yung low pressure, low temperature, warm vapor refrigerant galing kay evaporator. Then, gagawin naman niya itong high pressure, high temperature, hot vapor refrigerant na isusupply naman niya kay condenser. So, dito naman sa condenser, nagkakaroon tayo dito ng heat transfer or heat exchange na tinatawag. So, upon the help of our condenser fan, which is the actual fan type, paano ba nangyayari yung heat transfer dito or heat exchange? Upon working ng ating condenser fan, magsusupply siya ng hangin na dadaan sa condenser fins. At yung hangin na yun ay galing sa surrounding o yung tinatawag natin na atmospheric air. So, habang dumadaan yung hangin natin papuntang condenser fins, sinasalubong naman siya ng hot vapor refrigerant na dumadaan sa ating copper tubings. So, pag nagkasalubong na yung refrigerant sa copper tubings at saka yung ating uh, atmospheric air, magkakaroon doon ng heat exchange or heat transfer. Na kung saan yung init ng refrigerant ay ipapasa niya doon sa ating low temperature air. Then after that, 
Ire-reject nyo naman ito papunta sa surrounding or atmosphere. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng heat rejection dito sa condenser side natin. So after that process, uh, i-discharge na ni condenser yung ating refrigerant under high pressure, high temperature, warm liquid refrigerant na. Na isusupply naman niya dito kay capillary tube. So, uh, ang nangyayari naman dito sa capillary tube natin, yung refrigerant natin is flowing on small diameter length size ng ating capillary tube. So, habang dumadaan siya dito, nag-change na rin niya yung pressure ng ating refrigerant as well as the temperature. From high pressure to low pressure as well as the temperature. So, naisusupply niya kay evaporator as low pressure, low temperature, cold liquid refrigerant na. Then, upon entering our evaporator, so, nagkakaroon ulit tayo dito ng heat transfer or heat exchange. So, with the help also ng ating evaporator fan or centrifugal fan type. So, ano pa pinagkaiba nitong centrifugal fan sa ating axial fan ng condenser? So, commonly, ito kasing condensation fan natin, the axial fan type, yung flow ng hangin or yung direction ng hangin niya is commonly more on straight line. So, meaning, yung direction ng suction is almost straight line sa direction ng discharge niya ng hangin. So, dito naman kay centrifugal fan ng evaporator, may purpose kasi kung bakit centrifugal fan. Kasi yung flow ng suction niya, yung direction is different sa flow ng discharge. Uh, most commonly, yung flow ng suction is perpendicular sa flow ng discharge. So, upon working ng ating centrifugal fan, so, hihigop naman siya ng hangin galing sa ating room. Uh, which is the warm room air. So, habang hinihigot niya yung hangin, so dumadaan siya sa evaporator fins. Then, sasalubungin ulit naman siya ni cold refrigerant natin na dumadaan sa copper tubing. So, pag nagkasalubong ulit yung cold refrigerant at warm air natin sa evaporator, nagkakaroon tayo ng heat exchange dyan. So, yun namang init ng ang uh, hangin natin galing sa warm room ay ipapasa niya naman dito sa dumadaan na cold refrigerant. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo dyan sa evaporator na pinatawag na heat addition sa system. So after that, i-discharge naman niya ng centrifugal fan yung air natin as a low temperature air na because of the heat exchange nga. So then, Uh, discharge sa different direction then through the help of air guide or yung ducting system natin, susupply ulit naman niya sa room natin which is under cold condition air na. Then, after ng evaporator, our refrigerant will become low pressure, low temperature, warm vapor refrigerant. Na siya naman ulit, ikaw compress ni compressor. And the cycle will repeat again. So that's how our air conditioning units works by the principle of refrigeration cycle.